New tonight, a look at how police are able to track down suspects even if they don't have photos. That was a situation earlier in the month when a 13-year-old girl was raped in Casina Park, Queens. The police credited the department's sketch artist for creating the first image of the suspect based on the victim's description. CBS 2's Ali Bauman introduces us to that artist and shows us how he creates faces from people's memories. Do we think we see things in a whole way? But we see things much more fragmented than we realize. Detective Jason Harvey has spent the past 20 years as a forensic artist for the NYPD. He's one of just two in the whole department. If you don't have video, this is the next step, and it, and it might be the only step. He's drawn thousands of suspects from the memories of victims and witnesses. Recently, his sketch of the suspect in the rape of a 13 year old girl in Casino Park, Queens, with his notable tattoo, led police to find the suspect on surveillance video, which within hours led to his identification and arrest. If you have a reason to remember it, you have a better chance of remembering. And if you're a victim of crime, you have a reason to remember it. After a first description, Harvey will then thumb through photos of all different people with the victim to find similar characteristics. How do you get someone to recollect something that they maybe don't fully remember? Well, that's a, that's a good word to use, recollect, because uh, the importance of the photographs is that, that it deals with recall memory. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times people, they won't remember, which is normal. But when they look at the photographs, something will make them recall. The process, he says, can be painful but cathartic for some victims. They're, they're helping us make a tool that's going to be used to catch this guy that uh, did bad things. So that's a, a helpful way for them to uh, you know, get back what was taken from them. So we wanted to see how the interview part of the process plays out. He wears square dark glasses. And I'm using CBS's own Dick Brennan as a model. Is, is, is the distance but between the eyes and the eyebrows okay? Yeah. It's a give and take between artist and interviewee. Was there anything that stood out as unusual? It was Harvey says one of the most important parts of the process is when a sketch is disseminated to the public and media. A common thing that people will say was like, oh, this sketch is, it could be anyone. But that person is your son or your daughter or, or someone that lives in your building. Uh, you would probably recognize them. So it's a good thing to pay attention to the sketches. And when we finished our interview... <laughs> I mean, that looks pretty spot on. <laughs> another sketch for the books. From police headquarters, Ali Bauman, CBS2 News.